Patchy the Pirate presents... Ahoy! Ah! It's a SpongeBob SquarePants special! If you thought I was done with SpongeBob games, then you were wrong. While I covered the SpongeBob GameCube games, there was one that kicked my butt as a kid that didn't come out on the GameCube, but instead came out on the Wii. That game was Plankton's Robotic Revenge. This game was the start of the downfall for the spin-off video games, as after this came a game even worse than the Flying Dutchman ever was. Why is that? It might be from the change in publishers. In 2013, THQ went bankrupt, and the spin-off game license went to Activision. They only published this and Hero Pins for basically killing spin-off games up until Rehydra in 2020, or Cosmic Shake if remakes aren't counted. Plankton's Robotic Revenge wasn't just a bad game in general, but the game was also bad in how it looks plays, and feels. So why don't we go over its plot. Above the waters of Bikini Bottom, a boat drops powerful batteries that Plank uses to make another robot army and steals the safe to the secret formula but he doesn't have the keys to open it. So Spider and crew go to get the keys of Forum. Yeah, that's kinda it. The story is more bland than plain white bread. Also Plankton is literally in a mech suit, how come he can't just break the safe door off? At least the other games are creative plots like Dreams or auditioning for movie roles, but this just sucks. With only about three worlds and bland repetitive levels, this game will put anyone to sleep. Even the bosses are just copy and paste of each other except for playing this final boss fight in Phase 2. That was literally the only fun time I had with the game. After all is said and done, of course, Plankton loses, but Mr. Krabs had the last key the whole time. Where? Under the doormat to the Krusty Krab. The formula is in your pocket. My pocket? Hmm. Oh, and so it is. I had it with me all along. Davy Jones's ghost time, clever. You mean we did all that for nothing? Yeah, the story just sucks as a boring ending. Throughout the game, you collect gears from robots and boxes. These allow you to upgrade or purchase new gizmos. These are your weapons, and there are only three good ones out of the seven has. You got a standard weapon, a weapon that starts slow and speeds up over time, an explosive weapon, a weapon that lasers down enemies, a triple shot weapon and another explosion weapon and a close ranged wind gun. If you want to beat the game as such you can, literally the condiment cannon and the portable tartar sauce are the best in this game. Other than those, you can play as Spongebob, Patrick, Sandy, Squidward, and Mr. Krabs. What's that? You want to know of extra content in the game, like secret endings? This game doesn't have any of that. Once you beat the game, that's it. No collectibles, no side challenges, no 100% reward or secret ending, just nothing. So once you beat the game, you just get to replay the levels for no reason or reward. The game is just boring. The robot fights are also repetitive and boring. When you pause the game, the level music stops and changes when you unpause. Most of the music is reused in the show, while some of the music is original, I believe. Also, I'm pretty sure they reused about all the music from this game in Hero Pants. We are lucky that Activision lost the license to Spundo games, because God, Robotic Revenge, and Hero Pants are some of the worst games I have ever played. Will I review Hero Pants? God, no, literally never. I would rather play a game about barn animals party and do stuff while their owners are away from the farm. You mean that barnyard video game based off the movie from 2006? Yeah, that game. I would recommend Robotic Revenge to literally nobody unless you want to see how bad it is for yourself. If so, then go right ahead. Oh, and the developers of this game apparently made Dead by Daylight. So they made two of the worst Spudder games and went on to make an amazing multiplayer horror game. What a plot twist. Anyways, thanks for watching until the end. Sorry it's a short video, but really this game is just bare bones. If you like this video, you might prefer my video on the THQ Spudder games. I might want to redo my Bob for Key Bob video, but I might wait a while before I decide to do that. I'd also appreciate you hitting the like and subscribe button. It's easy and it helps me know that I'm doing good in my videos. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video.